Hello everyone, I hope you're doing very well. So today we're looking at the SA13 Strela and using it in combined arms. So this is a real beastie of a vehicle, very difficult to fight these if you're in an aircraft. So the name is a 9A35 Mike 3 Strela 10M3 and SA13 NATO assigned number. It is a low altitude SAM system. It is IR based sensors on the missiles, passive only. Has a crew of three. There's the dimensions. Weight at just over uh, 12 tons. 240 horsepower diesel engine. Maximum road speed 61 and a half clicks per hour, about 40 miles per hour. Maximum water speed, which is awesome, of six kilometers an hour. Uh, 500 kilometers operational range. It has eight missiles in total. Four can be loaded at a time. Each have a warhead of four kilograms high explosive. So there's actually very low very small warhead size, must be very small missiles. Speed of Mach 2 on the missiles, effective range, minimum effective range, it's very important, of 200 meters, 600 feet. Max effective range, 5,000 meters, so five clicks or about three miles. Minimum effective altitudes of 10 meters, 30 feet, that's very low. So it's one of the difficult things about fighting the system is even if you fly very low, it can still track you. Uh, max effective altitude, uh, three and a half clicks. It can go all the way up to plus 80 and down to minus five degrees depression. You can track a target that's going 420 meters per second. So that's about as fast as anything. Uh, turret can traverse uh, fully. It has a missile launch weight of 42 kilos. Tra those tracking rates and the missiles are the 9M. Uh, sorry, the 9, yeah, 9 mic triple three. That's that. Let's go and have a use of them. Here's our mission. So first of all, we'll run the mission and we'll drive the thing ourselves from the cockpit. Okay, in the mission, we're going to select Tactical Commander. Okay. Okay, I'm going to click on our guy. I'm going to click on this tank sign here. And in we go. Right, first of all, let's look at controls. Now, the controls, uh, rather than go through the controls on every single video, what I'll say is the controls I use are the default ones that are for the combined arms. And these same controls are used for all of the combined arms controllable vehicles. And I've left them exactly as they are so if you need to be able to do anything like reload traverse move gear change whatever just go in here control options com combined arms all and everything you'll ever need is here and there's not particularly many of them so it's not very difficult as for the views f1 gives us this view left control c gives us the driver's view if we want to be able to drive and fight from outside the vehicle press insert and we get this here and let me just go back to the dry, uh, to the gunner with F1. Insert again, outside. And now we can traverse our turret round. We use the mouse to do this. And mouse up and down to traverse the turret. And to move the vehicle, we've got W. Uh, sorry, I've got to put it in gear first with X. And W forwards. S backwards. Sorry, we'll have to put it in reverse gear for that. Uh, so in reverse and W is actually rear, uh, backwards in that case. Put it in forward gear again. Right, uh, D is turn right. A is turn left. Up to 60 kilometers. That's that. Next, let's look at our views a bit more. So F1 uh, gives us this view and we can press insert to be in the cockpit or out of the cockpit. F2 will give us our nearest aircraft. F7 will allow us to look outside the vehicle, but this time the mouse controls the camera rather than the actual vehicle. So we're going to stick on F1 and we're going to be inside. I prefer driving from inside. Insert. So pause that. Okay. So let me get my mouse cursor up. This here is our sight. So let's start at the top here. Here is our heading tape that tells you which position. We are heading, here is our AI configuration, formation is column, uh, rules of engagement is hold. Our ammo, we've got four uh, of the missiles loaded and when those missiles are gone we can use the reload button which is in the uh, just controls menu to reload those four. Uh, gear, we can be in drive, we can be in neutral or we can be in reverse. The speed in miles per hour, our current azimuth, uh, vehicle heading. Here is our turret position in relation to our vehicle in relation to north. And here is our health status currently 100%. So to use the Strela missile, missiles, it's extremely simple. We're going to unpause. We're going to, we're going to, whoops, let me turn my cursor off. We're going to aim at an aircraft. It's got a very quick traversing turret, this uh, vehicle. One, again, one of the reasons it's so dangerous. 
So I'm going to find one of these guys. Can't be that hard to find. There's one. You can see he knows it's a, he knows I'm a Strella, so he's using his uh, flares to, uh, for safety. So what I've got to do is move my position so the inner ring of my sight is covering covering him fully. When I do that, a lock procedure starts. It starts to lock, and it takes two to three seconds to lock. And you can see text coming down at the bottom of the screen telling me his distance and the status of the lock um, uh, when I do that. Now I have to keep him in the inner circle. Of, uh, of of my sight, which is actually quite difficult to do. And ke while keeping him in the circle, when it's locked, I'm going to press the left mouse button to actually fire the weapon. So let's get that done. It's quite hard when they're going fast left to right. So look at the bottom left there. And I'm going to... F oh, I lost the lock. Damn it. And fire! Right mouse button will give us this view. Kapowza! Down you go, sir. Is he fully down? Well, we don't like to take any chances. Bowser. Very satisfying. Oh, that's him out, sir. That's him out. Or is it? Somehow he's still going. Unglaubly. Ah, I can't quite get it. Ah, oh, cheeky son of a... This guy is friggin... A hero. Hero flanker driver. Right. Right. You can't win forever. Let's wait until he's cold. We've got a nice shot of his engines when he's cold. It gives a much better uh, tone on him. Wait, wait, wait. That's good. I dodge that. Oh, jeez. <laughs> reloading required. Well, let's go and find out what our reloading button is, shall we? So we're going to go ammunition, reloading manual start. Oh, it's at left control and R, apparently. So let's try that. And he's going to reload it. And you can see at the bottom that's going to take 535 seconds, which is forever, so we're not going to wait for that. So that's all we want to show from the cockpit. We've got um, the gun, as you can see on the front there. I can't figure a way of using that, so I don't think I can use that. So next we'll show using the vehicle from the ground. Tactical commander. Okay, okay. So I'm going to click on him here. I'm going to turn his ROE to fire, so he's free to fire at any of those guys whenever he likes. Um, the formation here only matters if, obviously, I've got multiple units in one group, and I haven't, so that's irrelevant. Um, I've got a state here, I live on auto, but we can change that from green or red. Um, it's speed, or his restrictions first of all. If we want to restrict, restrict him to a certain range of firing, we can do that. If we want to turn his radar on and off, that's irrelevant, obviously, in this case, and tell him to engage air weapons there, and whether we want to apply it to the whole group. Uh, still pounding away at this flanker. AI can dodge these missiles so easily. You try doing that in your your flanker and it, you, you'll get hit, I guarantee it. Right, he's busy reloading now, so I'm going to set a path for him to move. I want to set my path there. Left click, left click, left click, left click, right click. It gives me the path. And I'm going to tell him to start moving at whatever speed he can muster. And if I speed it up, you can see he's going to travel and go and do that path. And that's it. That's all I'm going to show. Uh, go and have some fun in your Australia and shoot some guys down. I hope they help. See you later.